They really give you a snapshot of what they were thinking at the time that they broke ground for the building. And so all of these buildings which have recently come down are reflective of that era and it's also reflective of a way of life that is very similar and very dissimilar to the way our student life is today. But it sort of gives you a real snapshot of what the student life is in the best way that we have. Um, we have lots of stuff that are official records of the university, but that doesn't always capture what the experience was at the time. They pulled the Carlisle and Massalink actually in the same day they arrived here on October 12th of 2012. You find a variety of things in here. Typically you find a copy of the dedication program, pictures of the dedications, uh, pictures of if it's named after a person, you will find a, a biography and a picture of that person. You have a lot of um, publications. Back then you were going to find yearbooks. We had the torch. We had a student. We had a staff newsletter. Um, you'll find things like meal tickets, you'll find orientation packets, what was in the orientation packet, um, samples sometimes of classroom syllabi and, and a lot of stuff relating to dorm life because these were dorms. Um, the passes, the, the forms that they had to fill out, samples of housing contracts, um, also sometimes financial aid forms, applications, just things that a student would actually have used back in that time period. We did know that there is one in all of those buildings built during that time period. We actually still have some files from the, it was, you would call him now the Dean of Student Life. And so when they started to take down buildings, and this happened first a few years ago when we took down Pentacol, um, the former optometry building, we contacted Physical Plant and we said, okay, you know these have to be taken out. So um, at some point in the, the decommissioning of the building process, and it's been a little different for Massalink and Carlisle, uh, they brought them out last October and brought them down to us. The ranking one we got just about at the end of May. The contents of the time capsule will, are, are permanently assigned to come back to the archives. That's not to say that they can't be used in displays. There's a number of display cases on campus where we can say, take a look at Massalink or take a look at Carlisle and see what's in them. They will probably remain, not remain on permanent display in a case somewhere because one of the things that lets it live for as long as it did is it wasn't exposed to outside light all the time. Um, the nameplates are going to be going, the Massalink and the Rankin nameplates, the date cards, are going to be put into one of the walls of the inner room where the fireplace is going to be going into the new university center. They're never, they're never supposed to be taken, these ones are never supposed to be taken out unless the building goes down or do some sort of substantial renovation that require removing these time plates and having to get behind them.